Davis, welcome to the latest episode of Cut to the Chase. Today we are in Zoom land. Uh, where are you today? Are you at home? Relaxing? No, I'm at head office. Diego, just uh, out amongst the troops. I've been doing a couple of training sessions today, so and a lot of people are getting frustrated with buyer apathy. Okay, explain more. Well, they, they're just frustrated that people are coming through open homes, they're doing inspection, but clearly the buyers are in a position because they have the benefit of lost opportunity and time. They can look at a property and go, oh, nice. Oh, we missed. Oh, that's okay because there's one over here. And, oh, if we miss as time goes on, well, that's okay because there's a better one again at a better price. So the benefit of lost opportunity and time, vendors do not. But then there are some really good questions that you can ask a buyer. Well, what other questions? And this questions? is where you go, what's that question? <laughs> what's that question, yeah. Well, Diego, imagine if you're a buyer. Diego, can I ask you this? What's more important, home ownership or buying at the bottom of the market? Yeah, but it's going to get cheaper tomorrow, Davis. Yes, but I've got a vendor who's prepared to sell at tomorrow's price. And go. I've been doing this job, Diego, for 18 years, and the only time you'll know when it's at the bottom is when you're following the market up. Correct. So this is your time. And then you kill them with facts. You know, I've just been to the North Shore this morning, 1,439 properties that are on the market. Over 600 of them have been on the market more than 90 days. This is your time. And clearly, you're out. Yeah. No, that's completely right. And, you know, it's it's quite interesting because you say uh, – you know, have the facts ready, right? And the facts needs to be well on point with what the buyers want to know. Like the buyer's biggest objection is always, yeah, interest rate, yes, how many properties on the market and all of that. And what I say to buyers in this market at the moment, it's like, well, you 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 marry the house and you date the interest rate. I don't know if we used the line before. If we hasn't, if we haven't, that's a good one because you you marry the house because you're going to be there for a the long time. You fix your interest rate and we know advisors here, but you fix your interest rate for as little as you can because we already know that three uh, and four and five years interest rates have now come down, meaning that you know they, 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 it's, it's, we are getting towards the peak as well on that front. So we're actually looking at, uh, at getting closer to the bottom of the market. Don't miss it. There is plenty of opportunity. And for a vendor that is prepared to meet the market at tomorrow's price, why wait? I always tell buyers, I have never, I haven't been doing it for 18 years, but this is my eighth year. And I tell buyers, I've never met anyone that said, I wish I waited three months, six months, a year to buy. You buy when you find the house that you like. And if you like it enough, don't worry about five, 10, 15 grand. It's totally irrelevant because you're going to be there for a number of years. And at the end of the day, we know the market will be coming up and it's gone down so much that I'm expecting a very good market in the next couple of years. And we're not even looking at next year, in my opinion. That's what I tell buyers. And I could be wrong. I always say I've got it wrong plenty of time, as we both know. But we all know that uh, we're getting there or thereabouts. So don't wait. Buy the house that you want, that you deserve, that you see yourself living there with your family and kids, because the next house might not arrive for a while. And at that point, you might be competing with more buyers. We are seeing more activity. And that's not a lie, is it, Davis? We are seeing a bit more activity. We are. You know, I've, I've had four options sell this week. And and Mr. and Mrs. Buyer, does your life improve with home ownership? I think you deserve to own the home. And quality homes are undiminished in their popularity. You've chosen a good home and a good location. The owners are motivated, good on you, you're getting a discounted price, move in and get on with your lives versus stop trying to pick the market. As well, pick a couple of properties that you know that either yourself or a colleague and a multi-offer for how long they've been on the market. You know, there is always the, those very good unicorns out there of properties that are still selling cash unconditionally in two days. Now, have those facts on your hands because then you can say the one down the road was on the market for three days and had received a multi-offer and is now on the contract for this much. Now, guys, there will be more of that around. At the moment, you're in... in, uh, in what do you call it in a sole position, pole position, whatever you want to call it, pole position, right? Yep. You are by yourself. Yep. You're in a driving seat. Take the opportunity. Don't lose it because you might regret it. Good. So for all the people that are watching, our job now is we have to create a market. The way that you talk to those buyers, talk to them in the right way, get them to make decisions and move on with their life. 
because Mr. and Mrs. Buyer, you know what's going to probably happen in two, three, four years' time? You're going to be bragging and skiting to family and friends how you bought at the bottom of the market. There you go. Davis, I hope I'll see you all. We'll see you in person next week for an in face, face to face cut to the chase. Always a privilege, privilege, never a chore. Have an amazing day. Thanks for listening, everyone. Ciao, ciao. See you later.